up straight. Zucchini is a very well hydrated squash. It's also delicious and incredibly versatile if you remember that it's basically a green water balloon and you need to get rid of that water in order to get, for example, a crispy brown zucchini fritter with herbs and cheese or a buttery and seductive shaved green zucchini salad that we learned to make in Italy. So here are the two techniques you need to know in order to throw out that water and make the most of zucchini. We're going to grate it and wring it, and we're going to shave it, avoiding the core and the seeds, the waterlogged parts. So first we're gonna grate zucchini, and then we're gonna let it sit in a little salt, and we're gonna wring out an amazing amount of water. So grating zucchini is as easy as it sounds. You grate zucchini on a box grater. For this recipe, we want one and a half pounds of zucchini, which is about three medium ones. What's awesome about grating zucchini is they come with this handy dandy finger protector. So when you get close to the end, you can just grip what was the stem and there, no danger. One more. All right. Because we're making fritters, these are amazing. We're also adding onion, which is also a waterlogged vegetable. So we're gonna grate that as well. And you need one medium or half of an extremely large yellow onion. Warning, you will cry a lot at this stage. That's okay, we're just bursting every single cell possible in the onion and it does become a little bit of a teary affair. Okay, to this, we're gonna add a teaspoon of salt. That's what's actually gonna draw out all the water in these little green water balloons. And we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes once we mix it together. All right, while the salt does its little osmotic magic in here, we're gonna prep the rest of the batter for our fritters. All right, it's been 10 minutes, and as you can see, there are pools of zucchini water, the new cucumber water, at the bottom of the bowl. These would make your fritters super soggy, but we're gonna wring out all of this shredded zucchini, so it's not a problem. We just put it in a clean kitchen towel. I lined my cutting board with a plastic cutting board because I know how much water is about to come out of here. Have a bowl ready. That's a lot of soggy fritter. You're avoiding it. Still coming. All right, kitchen economy, because I know some of you are out there. Yes, you can use all of this water. You can use it to boil beans. You can use it to make a vegetable soup. Don't drink it. It's not really the new cucumber water. There's onion in here. I mean, you really, you gotta really go for it. The drier the zucchini is, the crispier and crunchier your fritters will be on the outside, which is super important. Remember, there's three eggs on the inside. There's plenty of moisture and tenderness. We just want the zucchini flavor which we're concentrating by getting rid of all of this water, which just dilutes it, right? When you think you're done, keep going. All right, just for giggles, I'm gonna measure this. That's one and a quarter cups of water that this recipe did not call for, that you, because you grated your zucchini, got out of the recipe to make your crispy fritters. of going to that little bit of extra work to grate your zucchini and wring out that cup and a quarter of water. Look at this browning. Crispy, wonderful, herb-laden, golden brown zucchini fritters. The second technique I use to avoid all that excess liquid in zucchini is to shave them and make a beautiful raw zucchini salad. To do that, the most important thing is to avoid the seeds in the core. They're sort of spongy and mushy. So you just, as simple as grating, shave the zucchini. I like a wide peeler and you get these gorgeous ribbons. You want the ones with skin because as you get below it, you get these fatter ribbons that don't have much skin so you get nice color contrast. And as soon as you see the core in the seeds, you stop. 
All right, so you can see, seeds, stop, keep going. All right, so as you can see, you have these beautiful fat ribbons. They're translucent. They've got great texture and not too much liquid. From here, you can use them as a base for any number of salads. I'm going to use herbs and lemon and Parmesan to make an Italian-inspired summer salad. When you shave zucchini, you end up with this salad that's got this great texture. The smoothness, but not wateriness, of the zucchini complements that rich Parmesan, the crunchy hazelnuts, all of the herbs. And that's because you did one thing. You shaved it, and you avoided all the water. So we know zucchini are actually green water balloons. Once you get rid of all that water, you can do things like make crispy brown fritters or buttery, wonderful shaved zucchini salad.